Welcome to today's Story Read Aloud. Make sure you subscribe to our page and like this video. And now, Tomatoes in My Lunchbox, written by Constantina Manoli and illustrated by Magdalena Mora. I don't recognize my name at roll call the first time. The teacher says it like it's too hard to understand. Then, she says it again, one syllable at a time. It's strange and sharp and sounds like something is breaking. The children in my class say my name, and it is like it doesn't fit in their mouths. It sounds like a question every time. When my mama says my name, it's soft like summer and round with love and color and light. I want to be Olivia, Sophie, or Chloe, or Emma, with yellow hair like the sun and the blue sky in her eyes. Any other name that is an answer they can laugh and dance, and everyone understands their names. Mama tells me my name is beautiful, and it's different. But it's not beautiful here, and I don't want to be different. I want a name that fits inside the front of my book. I want a name I say once, and people know it's a name. I want a name that stories are about. When we came here, we left the place where my name fit. We took what we could and closed it in our suitcases. Our things look weird here. My clothes look weird here. The whole tomato in my lunchbox is weird here. I bite into it, and the insides spurt out. It tastes like home, but I have to spend the rest of the day with those stains on my shirt. Mama tells me I just need to make some new friends. That's all, but I don't know how. I pick an Emma, and I try to be like her. I go where she goes, I do what she does, I say what she says, it doesn't work. If my name were Emma too, we'd have something to smile to each other about, and we could share secrets. But I'm not an Emma. It doesn't fit me. There's a whole world in my name. I carry it with me. It's heavy carrying your whole world around with you all the time. Grandma says a smile can lighten a heavy load. I smile at Chloe. I want to smile a big, sunshiny smile but it ends up being small. Chloe asks, where's your name from anyway? I shrug and say, it was my grandmother's name, but my voice wobbles a bit, so I don't say much more. I don't tell her it belonged to the person I loved most, the person I left behind in a place that shines with yellow sun and with blue, blue skies, the place where our names are familiar and beautiful. The memory makes my smile big and sunshiny, though. Chloe nods and smiles back. The following day, I sit next to her in class. She doesn't speak during the lesson, but when it's time to leave, she points at my scarf and says, Yellow is my favorite color. I whisper, It's my favorite color, too. I've never told anyone here that before. I wear yellow all the time after that. So does she. On the day she forgets her lunch, I offer her mine to share. She smiles and takes it like I'm giving her a gift. We sit with tomato seeds on our shirts and talk and talk, and it's like a door opening. We laugh and dance under the shining sun and the sky is so blue. Later, we say hello to Olivia and Sophie. Chloe tells us a story and my name is in it. It sounds soft and round and full of color as she says it with pride. My friends say it again in turns, and my name is not a question anymore. It is familiar and gentle and beautiful. It is all in one piece, and it sounds like home.